Hey everybody, welcome back to my Let's Play Stardew Valley series. Now, if you are watching right now, you are probably watching on either Twitch or YouTube. I am streaming live right now, and hopefully um, the recording comes out okay. This is the first time I'm doing both. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and continue where we left off. We were on day four of spring. And as a reminder to everybody else who's watching, if you um, are watching on YouTube, I have an introduction video that I will link in the video description below that will explain a little bit more of what my goals are and what I'm planning to do. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So as always, we are checking the weather report because, you know, we just need to know how everything's going to be the next day and it looks like it's going to be sunny. And we are checking our fortune. And the fortune looks good. All right, so we have a little bit of extra luck. Uh, first things first, I'm going to be watering the plants. <clears throat> Oops, I just, <laughs> I just put my watering can away. Look at all those butterflies. Got a ton of butterflies today. Also, if you were watching um, in the past couple days or the past week, um, you notice I'm trying a little new uh view here i usually full screen my window when i play um stardew valley but i noticed when i was looking at my recording that it made everything really small i'm not sure if i like that i i don't know i was watching on my phone i think if you watch the videos on um a screen like a monitor or even if you have like a second monitor it's fine but I noticed then when I was watching on my phone, it was really, it was a little too small. <laughs> so I made the window much smaller. So now I think we're a lot closer to the uh, character and all the graphics on the screen. <clears throat> okay, we finished watering our plants. Now I'm just gonna read the mail. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm coughing a little bit because I am eating some cake, some ice cream cake at the same time. All right. This mail says, I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. And that's it for mail. Um, usually at this point, I like to do a quick round on foraging, uh, at least until the shops open. So it's Thursday now, which means we can buy some seeds. But I'm gonna go do a quick lap. Let's go south. Actually, let's go north. I just don't feel like running through the bush, the bushes. Again, as a reminder, you are probably watching this both live on Twitch or um, as a VOD on YouTube. Either way, you can add me on either as Cami wins. I'm Cami wins on both YouTube and Twitch. I am planning to stream um, as often as I can until I start my new job. Oh, hey, let's talk to Linus real quick. Hmm, do you want something from me? No, I just want to say hi. You know, you're my buddy, you're my pal. Can a girl just say hi to her friend? No, probably not. Probably not. Oh yeah, so if you are watching on YouTube, hello. If you're watching on Twitch, hello. And welcome. I start my new job in two weeks, two-ish weeks, or actually, yeah, two weeks. Um, and so I'm hoping to get this whole thing done by then. Oh, it's Maru. Hey Maru, I plan on spending a lot of time with my telescope this summer. All right then. Okay, I need a red mushroom to power my latest invention. It's the only thing that will work. Hmm. I don't think I can get a red mushroom. Um, that's something I think you could forage or you eventually get in the cave. So we're going to go ahead and skip that. And just go straight into the general store. Hey, Pierre, how are you? I'm happy to buy any produce off you. I'll give you a fair price, of course. Well, I don't have any. But we did clear out our farm yesterday <clears throat> excuse me the day before and i need 
six of these and let's get some potatoes this time. Because we have the money, right? I mean, why not? And that should be good. Thanks, Pierre. You're a pal. And let's go check out the beach. See if there's anything we can find at the beach. Hopefully there's a ton of seashells. Oh, hey. It's uh, Pam. Or Penny. <laughs> I don't know why I said Pam. I don't even think there is a Pam in this game. We're lucky to have a library in such a small town. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. That's true. I love to read. I don't read as much as I used to because now, you know, we have Audible and everything. But um, I think we could say the same thing about games as well. I get lost playing this game. I was actually dreaming about it last night. Just dreaming about being in Stardew Valley. I just, I really love this game. This game is just, it has everything that, you know, I, I like in games. Alright, we got lucky here. We have a couple of sea urchins and some coral. And as a reminder to everybody, um, I am streaming this live on Twitch and YouTube. So anyone who's jumping into my Twitch channel right now, I might not be paying that much attention because I'm kind of focused on recording these episodes i've never done this before i've never streamed and recorded for youtube usually i'll just stream on twitch and then upload whatever oh hey it's Haley. Haley, hey let's uh let's say hi i've decided i'm going to organize my clothes today i'll have to throw out all of last year's styles to make room for the new ones i feel like that's kind of a waste but i'm gonna have a bite of this Delicious ice cream cake. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yum. Okay. Sorry. And, um, right now I'm just gonna continue to run around, see if there's anything we can find. Ideally, we're gonna go to our spring onion patch and find some spring onions. Those come in pretty handy. Yeah, I scarfed down some lunch before I started recording slash streaming. And I didn't really get to finish my ice cream cake because it was super frozen, so I hope you guys don't mind. And if anyone's wondering, it is butter, butter pecan or something praline? I don't know. It's really good. It's got these like little crunchy caramely, crunchy pieces. It's just really good. <laughs> my cat just opened my door. I had it closed for recording, but he just opened it. Oh, anyways, uh, Leah says, there's actually a lot of wild food in this area if you know where to look. I've been having fresh salads almost every day. That is the dream. I would love for my garden to be abundant and full of delicious things to eat. That would be, that would be the dream. All right, so we're going up here from the south entrance of the farm and we're going to start planting all the things that we just bought. Actually, I'm gonna throw what we foraged into the shipping bin just so I have that out of the way. And we're gonna keep these for, you know, just emergencies. In case you do get hungry. And, oh yeah, a watering can. Okay, and 18 potatoes. Now, I have a layout in mind. Um, I showed it to you guys in a previous episode, but um, I was thinking about it the other night, or last night actually, and I think I wanted to try something new, but that's more advanced. That's when we start getting uh, upgrades on the barn and stuff, so the original layout that I showed you guys is still the plan, but I do want an area for just the barnyard animals. 
Because right now, I'm thinking of putting them up here. Um, okay, so we've done all of the major chores today. Let's double check our journal. And yep, we don't have any quests. Which is kind of interesting. Um, I thought we had a bunch, but I feel like maybe we... I don't know. I think we... we cleared some of those quests. So for now, I think I'm going to spend some time fishing. We're going to grab these a couple of spring onions just to tide us over, but we had a lot of luck fishing up here. Well, actually, we w just went up there. Let's go this way and see if there's anything we can forage. The three spots that I usually like to look is behind the farm if you go north and behind the farm and south around the lake and this area right here also tends to have things yeah this little patch oh can we get on the bus can you actually oh no you can't no you're stuck here forever <laughs> so what's interesting is playing with a smaller window size does mean obviously you can like focus more on the character and the graphics but i lose visibility interestingly enough um of everything around me so usually i'm walking around i could tell pretty much instantly if there's anything to forage but because the window size is so small i lose that so i don't know how i feel about it just yet i wish there was a way to dynamically zoom in and out in the game that way i can just zoom in when it's just like walking around like this and I can zoom out when I'm trying to search for things. But let me know in the comments below what you guys prefer. I'm going to try a few more sizes. Maybe something in between this size and a larger size. But I personally like playing in the smaller window. Just because it's like, I don't know, it's really cute. The art's really nice. I like being really close to it. I mean, this is one of those games that really proved that 8-bit art doesn't have to be basic, you know? Like, this is pretty in-depth artwork, if even though it's pixel art, you know? All right, first fish we got is it? Whoops, I didn't pull back all the way. Oh, wow. Two really quick hits in a row. Once we open the mine up, we're going to have... Whoa, bullhead. Um, once we open the mine up, we'll be able to spend our free time trying to get into the mines. That's usually when I have the most fun with streaming a game like this because fishing and mining are pretty monotonous, like kind of boring. And it's really fun to be able to chat and talk to other people. What I'd love to do, I'd love to stream on both Twitch and YouTube, but I haven't really figured out YouTube streaming. I'll probably look into it if I pick up with viewership and everything, like if there's more people that tend to um, watch my series, then I might consider doing both. But right now I know that Twitch works for me and this current recording setup that I have for YouTube has really good quality of audio and both video. I think initially when I was first starting um, to test out my record. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's Sebastian. It's Sebastian. All right. Let me just grab this stupid algae. Put it away. Shove it in my pocket. And very nonchalantly. Hey, how are you? Sebastian says, I snuck into the caves last night and got a nasty cut from a rock crab. Don't tell anyone, okay? I won't. And, oh my gosh, there is a bubble. Oh man, my stupid thing is like, what is he doing? <gasps> He's smoking. He's straight up smoking. Oh, and we have a treasure chest. Oh wow, and we got it. I'm, whoa, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh gosh, I had to concentrate. Sorry, I couldn't even narrow. What the heck? That chub was not worth it. Ooh, but that copper ore is. That's awesome. Um, I forgot about treasure chests completely. <laughs> um, I can't believe Sebastian is smoking. What is he like smoking? Smoking a joint or is a cigarette? 
think it's probably a joint. I think he's, I think that's weed. That must be weed. And we have a carp. I think fishing has been <clears throat> pretty good for us, even though we have the most basic fishing pole. Come on. Oh, I was a little too slow on that. We're going to fish up until 9-ish, um, or we run out of room in our inventory, whatever comes first. And any time now. Come on. Come on, little fishies. There we go. And it's a hit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, no. And there we go. I'm getting better at timing the this the meter for casting the fishing rod i can get it to the max but i get a little bit distracted when trying uh oh i don't know if that sound effect means any oh okay it does i feel like that sound effect actually means something oh wait okay treasure let's get the treasure oh my gosh no let's not get the treasure oh no ah oh. all right i got I couldn't choose between the treasure or the fish, because um, the treasure was really good last time. All right, let's try this again. Let's try this again. There it is. See, those are the magic words. That's all I had to say. Uh-oh. Come on. There we go. And it's 10 o'clock. We should definitely be heading back. I didn't even have to use my spring onions, which is awesome. I'm kind of skeptical that maybe I forgot to do something, but I feel like I watered all my crops. I even planted a whole new set of beans and potatoes. So, I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something, but that, that seems like a pretty full day. <laughs> Well, we'll see. We'll see once we head down. And I'll start. It looks all watered. That's the hard part about seeing things in the dark. This is why I need to build a fireplace. Like, a stat. Let's see. What do we do? I have everything for a fireplace? Yeah, I think I do. Let's do stone and wood and fiber. And we just need one campfire to light the way. And let's just put it here for now. Perfect. Yeah, it looks like everything is watered. So I'm going to dump everything else into the treasure chest. Or, I guess not treasure chest. But <laughs> I guess those are my treasures. You can call them in a treasure chest if you want. And, oh, I don't need to watch anything. Now we can just wrap up the day. I'm going to keep streaming. I usually like to um, hit 30 minutes with the recording before I stop and um, reset the recording. But um, we're only at maybe 18 minutes. So we're going to keep going. Uh, most of our money we made was foraging and fishing. Looks like, oh, wow. Uh, Chub was worth 50. Bullhead is, oh, 150 each. So I think, oh, God, math. Uh. 75 75 bullhead was worth 75 each wow those those were actually the fishes that we should be focusing on i mean it's not like i could choose what fish bites onto the bait but that wasn't bad that was not a bad haul all right day five friday um it was supposed to be sunny today and it sure is and tomorrow is gonna rain that's very good news Raining is the best because you don't have to water any of your, your plants. And it looks like the spirits are in good humor. So we're going to have a little bit of extra luck. Now I'm going to finagle with my mic a little bit. And take another bite of my ice cream cake. Sorry guys. I usually don't eat while I stream or record. But oh! My kitty! Hello Cammy. 
You see this cat here? I do. I see him. Uh oh. Sorry, guys. That was super loud. But that was my laundry. <laughs> she said, I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Will you adopt this cat? Of course I will. And we're going to name him after my actual kitty cat. Our cat's name is Archer. And he kind of looks like him. Archer's, um, Archer's beige, not orange. But I mean, you know. I guess you could call that a dark beige. Okay. Checking the mail. Okay. I'm not going to read all this. But basically, they cleared the... Oh, I'm going to read it. <clears throat> to our valued Joja Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. <clears throat> oh, I just choked on my ice cream. Sorry. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal pursuant to INIT L61091. Joja Co. Amendment. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. This is from Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. And, oh my gosh. A stupid crow. A stupid crow ate one of our parsnips. Arg. Alright, well, what I typically like to do with the first harvest of parsnips, other than, you know, shipping them, is I like to save one. Because eventually we're going to need to give a gift to somebody, um, what's his name? The old guy, Louis, for his birthday. And so I like having one saved because, you know, that's just the nice thing to do. And I'm going to water the plants because I have until 9 o'clock to get everything ready to um, plant some more seeds. Because after this... I'm going to take my money, I'm going to go to the store, and we're going to buy more potato seeds. And that should round out our little crop here. Oh, wait, we have, oh, we have a bunch of quests. Okay. Um, the first quest in our journal is called Advancement. As you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow. Well... We have not reached farming level one yet. Wait, we have reached farming level one. Well, why can't we craft a scarecrow? Have we just not learned it yet? Farming level one. Hmm. Maybe we need farming level two? Is that a bug? I don't know. That's pretty confusing. Oh, shoot. We had some more. Uh, raising animals. Um, Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of town. In exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need her to build a coop or barn so that you can raise animals. And, oh, we just completed this quest. Oh, and I have somebody in my Twitch chat. What's up, Mac? Mac, 19 p.m. How are you? It's been a while, actually. It's been months. <laughs> Just a reminder for anybody watching my stream on Twitch, specifically Mac, I'm also recording on YouTube, so I'm going to be taking 30-minute uh, breaks to run an ad and reset the recording, just so you are aware, in case it's confusing that it seems like I'm talking to people on YouTube, because I am. Alright, I'm going to keep watering everything, I mean, might as well get it all ready. And I'll probably dig up the last few spots that I need for... Aw, oh, crud. All right, there we go. Okay. Um, I forgot to take out my hoe. I'm going to take out my hoe and we're going to just... Get this little plot of land ready for some more potatoes. I think we'll be able to afford more potatoes and have a little bit left over 
for whatever else we might need. I won't have time to water it. I just want to go ahead and get the potatoes. Hopefully we run into some things to forage. Do a quick check here. Oh, good. One. And that's it. <clears throat> oh, look at this cutscene. Oh, hi there, Lewis says. Oh, he doesn't look happy. What an eyesore. I think it looks charming. I like the way it looks. Oh, there's a flower. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> this is Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. I'm going to eat some cake. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Lewis tastes so good. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it. It's shameful. A little harsh. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Joja Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town used the money, but, oh. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old-timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Oh, well. Sorry, just typing a response real quick. My keyboard is super loud. <clears throat> If anyone else buys a Joja Co. membership, I'm just going to, to go ahead and sell it. Sigh, here, let's go inside. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jas must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. What? <laughs> that cute little apple thing. What's the matter? Are you ill? Uh, no. Silly guy. You saw something. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. Ah! I look so scared. <laughs> You're worrying me, Cammy. <laughs> look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. Who the creaking and the eeriness of this place. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. We're going to actually explore it now. <clears throat> so what we have to do, if you check our quest, is investigate the community center. And so we're going to go over here and we're going to be, oh, what's that? Oh, gosh. Try to run away. And we're going to read this golden scroll and realize we actually can't read this. Gibberish. <clears throat> and then we'll exit here. And we're going to head over to the forest and speak to the wizard. But before we do, I'm going to snag this dandelion. All right. And we're going to head south here. Cut through all this stuff. And we're going to pick up some seeds first. Oh, there's nothing on the bulletin board. I wonder if it's because I never accept a quest. Or I haven't accepted one yet. Um, Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we have 448. Uh, I wonder what else we could... Well, let's leave it. Let's leave some pocket money, some some pocket change. Uh, 
Okay. We at least have a couple of things to throw into our bin. Here we go. And... Oh, I forgot to buy parsnips. Dang it. Oh, I gotta run back to the store. I hate when that happens. I hate when it happens in real life, and I hate when it happens in game life. <laughs> uh, I forgot I needed more parsnips. We at least have enough for um, another set of 18. Dang it. I got distracted with Lewis and his community center. Okay. Yeah, we, I think we have, yeah, we have enough. Great, now we're broke, but that's okay. <laughs> we're, we're rich in, in seeds. Oh, it's Haley, what up, Haley? Haley's a, all right, <laughs> I guess, whatever. Everybody's so mean. I mean, not everybody, but the people that I like are mean. They like Haley, who's mean, Sebastian, who's mean, Shane, who's mean, Shane's my favorite. <laughs> He's my favorite. He's so grumpy. All right. I'm going to plant these because we can't make fertilizer yet. Whoops. I got to be careful. Don't want to waste anything. And we're going to plant the potatoes. And I think what I... Whoa! Oh! Whew! I just, um... Tried to dig up my potatoes on accident. Okay. Um, we can visit the mines. And we can also... Talk to the wizards. So, I feel like we should talk to the wizard first. So, I'm going to go ahead and get all my things ready. We got everything watered. Uh, we just need a pickaxe, and then let's take the onions with us for something to eat. Actually, we'll take the seeds, because then we can make a field snack, and that doesn't take up as much room. And, uh, I'm gonna leave the hoe. Oh, I'm gonna take it. I hate passing up. I hate passing up any of those wiggly worm things, because I think, oh, it might be an artifact. All right, so first stop, we're gonna go see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Stardew Valley. <laughs> um, after we talk to him, we'll find out how to read the um, golden scroll. And then after that, we can head up to the mines. And I think that's a pretty full day. It's a pretty big episode. I mean, we're already going past 34. Oh, hey, it's the traveling sales lady. We can't buy anything from her, but let's check out what she's got. She's got nothing that interesting. Cool. And there is the wizard's tower. I'm just gonna go like this. And here you go. Oh, it's locked. What? Hmm. All right. It's a little odd. I'm not sure why that didn't work. Usually we can go in there, but maybe it's closed. Actually, let's take a look. I don't want to go too far. Um, actually, I'm going to do a quick break and we'll look it up right after the break. Um, but for now, uh, just sit tight. If you're watching on Twitch, just going to run a quick ad. And then after that, I will be back. And for those of you watching on YouTube, I'll catch you in the next episode. Uh, just bear with me as I figure out what the heck went wrong with the wizard. All right, bye.